daddy, not with the T, with the D. He's a male, young male border collie. Got here yesterday and a uh, little stressed out today still. Yesterday he was very stressed out because he doesn't do well in storms, lightning, thunder. And uh, he arrived here during a really bad storm. We were under tornado warnings and it was awful. Some of the worst lightning and thunder I've seen in a while here. And so he struggled a little bit. Um, I think being around the other dogs definitely helped. <laughs> and so it was a rough go the first hour or two. I put my big Bluetooth boom box in where he was staying. I put on Brooks and Dunn and Chris Stapleton nice and loud, and that definitely helped. He relaxed once the music started going and drowned out some of the sound of the storms. So this is the first time I'm bringing him out here, introduced to Clicker, but he won't take any food, okay? So no food at all. He's going to pull on the leash, you know, just, just all simple stuff. I just want to get his head in the right place. So he has no interest in food. Every click and treat you saw, he didn't take the food, okay? He just let it drop to the ground. So let's see if he'll play with a ball at all. I'm just doing this to see where he's at. Day one, that's it. Good job, Patty. Oh, oh, it's a good boy. Oh, too strong. Oh, too strong. That's a good boy. Oh. Oh. That's a strong Irish fella, are ya? That's a strong Irish fella, are ya? That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Patty. 
Now he's offering to play and tempting me to take it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good Good boy, Patty. That's a good boy, buddy. That's a good boy. Good job. Okay. So like I said, this is the first time I'm doing anything with him. Got here yesterday during a really bad storm. Very stressed. So he wouldn't take food. I tried to introduce the clicker, still under too much stress to take food. And so I said, let me introduce play. Hoping that would be a little better. Of course, obviously you see it's way better than I expected. <laughs> right? Right in the Irish sausage, my friend. Right in the sausage. <laughs> that was a groin shot. 
But you see, now I have him. I have him already. Now we start that relationship. And when I introduce the train, look at this. So I'm able to teach the out without saying anything. Okay, he doesn't know he's learning the out. But for him to play, he's got to out. That's a good boy. Oh, you're too strong. Good job. And that's all I want. Now I know where he's at. Now I know what to do with him. And that's why I don't have protocols where everything's cookie cutter. I have to give that particular dog what he needs. This guy's going to make it easy. He's awesome. You know, that stress will go away very fast because of the play, the interaction, because he really thrives. So the relationship begins right here, and we're gonna have a good time. I only have him for two weeks, and he came all the way from Canada. So I got a lot of work to do in a really short amount of time. So instead of pressure, pressure, pressure in a negative way, I have to find what can get him there the quickest. Obviously, play is going to get him there the quickest. And that's what I'll use. I'll use a lot of it. Oh. Oh. Oh, all done. We'll keep you posted, folks. I'm tired. <laughs>